Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to draw a knight from the medieval times. And I'm going to begin the knight by just drawing a curved line here at the top of my piece of paper. And then I'm drawing two lines down from that that angle out just a slight bit. And I'm going to connect those two lines with a rounded line right here. This gives us kind of the shape of an upside down bucket. Once we have that shape completed, I need to add the face mask. And I'm going to do that by drawing a cross here. This would be the opening in the helmet that the knights would look out from. Some knights had crosses in their helmets. Other knights had the shape of a letter T. You can draw the opening in your helmet however you like. Once I've finished drawing the helmet here, I'm going to draw the armor of this knight, his sword, and he'll also be wearing a long sweeping cape and a tunic. So the helmet's just about finished. I just have to erase a few of these lines here. And now I'm going to go ahead and draw the rest of this knight. So right here, I'm just drawing the first arm as a light line and the second arm here. These arms are going to be holding the sword that's in front of the knight. I'm just drawing it lightly because I'll go over it here in a few minutes once I get the proportions the right way. These two downward lines are the pommel of the knight's sword and I'll draw a horizontal line with rounded edges right below it for the hilt of the sword. And now the blade of the sword will be two long lines that go down, but they'll be wider at the bottom than they are at the top. And this will give the illusion that this knight is standing tall above us and looking down. So it's going to make him feel like he's a very strong, tall, statuesque type of a knight. I'm going to draw a center line down the middle of the blade of this sword. And then I'll just go back up here and take a look at where the cape's going to go. And the cape is just a long sweeping line down this side of the knight. And then it will curve out towards the back. I'm going to do the same thing on this side, but it's a big, wide curving, almost a, like a sailboat type of a shape, like the sail on a sailboat, and that's because the wind's blowing the cape outward. Now I'll finish drawing in the gloves, and then the tunic, which are just downward lines, and then the boot that he's wearing, it'll, it'll be just a letter C upside down. So here we have the general shape of our knight. And I'll complete the glove by adding the fingers here, which are just a few rounded lines. And on the other hand, you won't see the hand or fingers because it's covered by one of his hands. So the knight's looking just about done. I'm adding a few little details to the handle and the guard of the sword. I'm going to add the 
blade edges here just by outlining the sword. And then probably uh, I'll add a few little details in. Since this knight is from England, I'm going to put in a red cross right here. You won't see the entire cross because his sword and arms will be in front of most of it. And then I will add a red cross to the shoulder of his cape. Putting that cross in right here on the shoulder. And I'm just looking at this night now. I think it looks pretty good. Um, here we're adding the edge of the blade of the sword. Remember when you're drawing your knight, if you need to review this video, pause it and review it, be sure to do that. Go ahead and go over the steps if you need to and take your time drawing your knight. I've changed the face mask into kind of a T-shape rather than a cross shape because I kind of like that design a little bit better. Okay. This knight looks pretty good. The next thing I'm going to do is color part of him and then shade part of him with the pencil and it will be all finished. Thanks everyone for joining me today. If you liked this video, please click the like button and subscribe for notifications to all of my new videos every Monday through Friday. Thank you for watching today, guys. Have a wonderful day. Happy drawing and see you next time.